Hi guys, today's makeover is made possible by a whole lot of coffee and many layers of clothing. When I saw this now chest at the thrift store, it was being sold by itself. But after taking a few steps forward from the corner of my eye, I could see the top of a modern hutch that was also for sale. Soon after, I came to the conclusion that this piece was the bottom of the hutch. And as much as I would have liked to buy both and keep them together, I could only fit one in my car. I was definitely too far away from home to come back and get it, but I still think that it's beautiful on its own. The construction is solid and even though it's small in size, it's heavy. When I opened the top front drawer, I saw some signs of wear, but I also saw the Sophisticate by Tomlinson Makers brand a company founded back in 1946. Their business plan was based in two concepts. The first one was built to a standard, not a price, and the second one focus on what we can do for our customers rather than what we can sell them. I thought these were great concepts, don't you agree? These are pretty cool, I hope they can clean up nice. They have some markings. And the original hardware is heavy, made out of solid brass and branded, which I always find kind of fascinating. We're going to follow our typical process of wiping down the piece without the greaser before sanding using 120 grit. Since I can see how worn and thin the world wood veneer around the top edge is, I'm sanding those edges first proceeding with extra caution. Can you see I forgot to wear my mask? Well, don't do that. Remember to always wear your mask for this part. As soon as I realized I didn't have my on, I went to get it. It is day number two of sanding this piece and at the beginning I was thinking let's do a paint and a stain combination. The more than I'm looking at it, as usual, the bare wood look is just pulling me in. Oh, and I know you didn't ask me, but in case you're curious, it's 55 degrees in the garage, which is warm compared to the outside. We have snow, black ice, and I almost fell earlier today going to the gym, but I didn't, so I'm well, I'm healthy. Let's finish sanding this piece today. To sand all the 90 degree angles, I'm using the square sander from Surf Prep. It's time to wash away the sanding dust with a TSP alternate, allowing the chest to dry before applying the clear primer. So most of the piece sanded okay. Luna is there, she can't not follow me. Hi Luna, hi. Hi, pretty. But I wanted to show you something. Yeah, you saying hi to everybody. Yes, you're so cute. I wanted to show you that I burned through the veneer. And honestly, I expected it. As you can see, I was being very, very careful, but I knew this just felt very thin. Very, very thin. And there was already uh, a lot of wear on these edges here. So I wasn't like super worried. In fact, I was thinking like I might even need to paint it. But other than that, everything else sounded really, really good. So a color wash is always a good, a good option for, for anything like this. But right now I'm gonna start by priming it with my clear shellac. By applying two coats of this sanding sealer, I'm making sure that my color wash doesn't show any bleed through. The recording time for this product is 45 minutes, but it's fully cured after one hour. And as always, safety is our number one priority here, so make sure to wear a mask for this part. I'm actually going to open the door here after I'm done applying the first coat. At least one hour has gone by and the clear primer is dry, which means I can start scuff sanding. For this part, I like using a fine sanding sheet that's 300 grit or higher. By doing this, I'm ensuring that my paint is going to stick. Mm -hmm. 
Let's wipe down the chest one last time to get rid of the sanding dust. And then let's treat those areas where I burn through the veneer by applying a color wash to hopefully camouflage those parts with the rest of the chest. I found that the color rattan from Lily Moon Paint got really close to the yellow tones on this oak veneer. Using a piece of paper, I try removing any excess paint. And even though the paint color looks really light on this video, as it dried, it blended just right with the rest of the wood veneer. In a minute here, I'm gonna show you another step I'm gonna take to camouflage these spots even more. Just a quick reminder, I love using Algonquin from Fusion Mineral Paint for the color wash. I mix one part of the paint to three parts water. That gives me this watery, runny mix. So I'm gonna be applying two coats, waiting one hour between one coat and the next. Remember that after applying the color wash, you let it sit for one minute before wiping any excess off with a wet rag, following the direction of the wood grain. could have just done the color wash at this point and move on but I had this thought that kept just coming to my mind and that was to apply full strain paint over the drawer frames and at the end I think it makes for a good contrast against the color wash is looking a little too pale to me so I'm gonna add a little bit of warmth to the finish and the way I'm gonna do that is by mixing 20% water with 80% of glaze effect water base in the color Van Dyke Brown from General Finishes. You could use it full strained but by diluting the glaze I'm giving myself more time to work with it before it settles. Here is just a side to side before and after glaze for you. Since I find that general finishes glaze dries quickly, I like applying it in sections. I don't even let it sit for a minute. I only let it sit for a few seconds and then I wipe any excess off right away. frequently do, I pour high performance top coat from General Finishes into my Flexio 3500 sprayer from Wagner and apply three coats to protect my piece from future wear. See some still wool and more keepers right. I was lucky the original hardware cleaned up so nicely. I didn't have to do anything else to it other than adding it back to the chest. Let's take a quick look at how this guy looked at the beginning of the video. And this is how it looks today. It's definitely more modern. Let me tell you, these guys sold super fast, so stay until the end to see who bought it, how long it took to sell, and how much profit I made on today's furniture flip. And let me know in the comments what do you guys think of today's transformation. I will see you guys next time. Good morning. It's delivery day for this piece. 
sold it at about 11.30 p.m. last night. Delivering this morning. Is it too early? It's too early. Not early. We should have picked up coffee on the way. The chest sold to this pet store owner for $450. After spending $45 in the chest and $25 in supplies, I live with a $385 profit. And of course, I had to pick up a treat for Luna before heading back home. Needless to say, <laughs> she loved it. <laughs>